JJ, you already know, it's your boy Joe back at it again, man. Codingface.com. Listen, your boy is back. I done did it again. All right, guys, listen, man, I'm super proud of myself right now. I created the Rocky stack, right? So I've been telling you guys about Crystal. I've been telling you about, I'm about to make some tutorials on, on React. I've been telling you about all the cool things that this, you know, this language, this new programming language can actually do. And why would you actually want to learn this like this is a brand new technology not that many companies are using it so why would you want to learn it right you're a brand new developer right well basically everything that you're gonna learn from here and from now on you could apply this at any other language or any other company that you might work for you know any stack that you want to work you could apply this to the mean stack you can apply this to the lamp stack you can apply this to the lamp stack you could apply this to uh anything pretty much any stack that's out there you could apply the the tools and, and the uh, basically the knowledge that you're gonna get out of this right plus i'm like super proud of this guys like this thing took me a long time uh you know i came from nothing i came from the bottom i came just like you guys like came from like not knowing how to print hello world to actually building my own stack in my own framework right and just using it in a way that anybody else out here can actually use it and, and learn something cool out of it right and at the same time it's like it's pretty legit it's pretty fast like all the benchmarks are pfft, through the roof faster than go faster than elixir faster than mean what the mean stack which is you know angular uh no js mongo so right now the rocky stack is killing them plus we loving the, the logo right now um yeah and <laughs> you know we doing our thing man so yeah i want you guys to first of all i want you guys to take your time give this thing a chance i'm gonna make tutorials on this for like the next Yo, the next year, this whole year, I'm going to focus on making tutorials for this. But at the same time, every tutorial that I'm making, I'm going to tell you guys, hey, you could actually use this in the mean stack. You could actually use this in the PHP stack, whatever you want to use it on, right? Because it's going to be mostly React and basically how to post into uh, a server, how to deal with databases, the whole shebang, right? This is just the introduction, guys. All right, so yeah, man, all you have to do right now is go to coding face. Basically, you go to github.com slash coding face.com, right? Just like that, coding face.com slash Rocky, right? Or you could just come here. If you go to coding face, the first thing you're going to see is Rocky, right? Also, for you guys that like to read and like to understand what's behind the scenes, and sometimes if you're lost for whatever reason, all you have to do is check the documentation which is right here you know we got a bunch of info and <laughs> just everything that you might need to even get you started right okay guys so we're gonna start this up like this man we're gonna do a little quick run at it right so since i already installed it i'm gonna tell you guys exactly what you're gonna do so you're here in the documentation you come here and it says okay here's the installation right Basically, you download the project. You either could clone it or you could just download it regularly right here. Download zip, right? And then you put it into a folder that you want to have your project in, right? Now, the first step you got to do is basically install Crystal Lang, right? So you're going to copy this, copy that, put it into your terminal, paste it there, and then go through all the steps here. If you have Mac or you have on Linux you could do the same thing like I said on Windows but basically follow the steps right so on Mac you run this then you run this which is just to update homebrew uh, you install crystal lang and then you install yarn then from there you're golden right now your next step is you're gonna install the dependencies you're gonna say okay shards install and now you're inside your project you say hey shards install and it's updating it installing all the the shards shards is just like packages all right for crystal then you install yarn yarn install this is gonna install 
all the packages that you might have for no like you know no js or npm or anything like react or redux whatever it is that's in there that i have for you guys basically installs it for you all right then you're gonna install go right this is gonna install it globally i already did it so i'm not gonna do it again basically you paste it there and then you're golden all right so you probably like yo why the hell would i install all of this stuff right why would i take my time to do this thing well you get a lot of cool features right so basically when you install all of the the packages and all of the shards you're basically gonna get a server you're gonna get routing you're gonna get databases you're gonna get crystal lang you're going to get react and you're gonna get gulp already set up for you so if you guys want to start you know hitting the ground running this server is gonna help you out this whole package this whole stack in general is gonna help you out all right so pretty much right now we're gonna say yarn run server right what this is going to do is it's gonna start a server for you so here you go the rocky stack all right so that's what you're gonna get localhost 3000 all right now what do you get with the rocky stack right you're like okay what the hell is this well basically we're using react which this is what it means to say the rocky stack react over crystal camel and yarn pretty much you're getting the whole package is a modern stack just pretty much everything that you need just to hit the ground running all right so so you want to change your css but you want to do it in a more modern way just use SAS, right? So you go to assets, you go to SAS, and you go to the main CSS. And let's say you want to change the background to red. All you have to do is say yarn run watch. So now it's going to watch over all the changes in your CSS and your JavaScript. And I'm going to show you that in a little bit. But look, you see, it already compiled everything. I will be adding live reload that's going to come in this week. But yeah okay let's say we want to change that see it's already changed all right now you're probably like okay cool i could do this with regular css and i could just you know refresh the page whatever right cool but we also have the javascript set up for you so you could come here and this is actually a react component right i will be teaching you guys more about react this week also so we're gonna build something super cool okay so there's the component let's say you want to change this page and you're like okay uh let's say an example power ranger i don't know whatever you wanted to do right so because it's watching it and seeing what you're doing basically it compiled the the javascript for you so you click refresh you see power ranger right now all of this stuff you probably like oh man we could do this in, in node.js and yes you could do it in node.js but this is actually future proof this is like pretty much the future of development and i would say guys give it a try give it a chance start building your websites with the rocky stack and follow me i will be doing a tutorial with this right? all right so this page is gonna be super cool what I'm going to be teaching you guys in here is going to be React. I'm going to teach you Crystal, which you guys, like I'm going to repeat myself. Everything that you're going to learn from Crystal, you could literally implement it to every other programming language. I'm going to teach you the easiest way to learn how to become a full stack developer. The easy way. The money way. That way. You did? Okay, so this whole page, we're going to build it in React. And we're gonna do API calls, right? We're gonna do get calls, we're gonna do post requests. Basically, the whole page is gonna be functional. It's gonna have signings, it's gonna have uh authentication, it's gonna have you know filtering of the posters, basically the movie information, the whole shebang. After you finish this, I guarantee it that you're gonna understand what's happening on every website that's out there right because every technology that i'm bringing into here is going to be applicable to any other stack out, out there right you could apply that to anything 
All right, guys. Listen, man. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like this video, man. And listen, guys. Take one second to go to the GitHub, right? Go to the GitHub account. You know, codingface.com. You know, come to Rocky. Click here. Download it or clone it. And also, make sure you give it a star, guys. Give it a star. Let's get this thing trending. That's the... That should be the title of this. <laughs> let's get this thing trending. Let's get it out there. Let's let the community judge it. And it's fine. If you like it, you like it. If you don't like it, it's fine. This is my very first stack that I create. And my very first uh, framework that I'm building. There's going to be good things. There's going to be bad things. But like I always said, you know, the show and proof. Just improve every time that somebody gives me something, a new idea or anything new that I got to create on it. But at the same time, guys, I'm going to be teaching you just everything that you might need for any stack. Because one thing that you guys got to understand is that once you learn one stack or once you learn one programming language or once you understand what's going on in the industry or what's going on in a website, in a web server, then you can put that in every other language. Right? I started with just JavaScript. And then from there, I learned PHP. So then I understood the back end from there. And then from there, I jumped to Node.js. And then from there, I jumped to Ruby. And then from there, I jumped to, you know, Java. I did a little bit of Java before. I jumped into a lot of languages, which I understand. And then at the end, I actually have the choices of saying, hey, I like this one. I don't like the other one. And then at the end, I just make my own choice on which one I'm going to stick with. But... If you guys trust me and you understand what I'm trying to teach you guys, you will give this a, a chance. And trust me, guys, I'm not going to make you waste your time. This thing is going to be the way that you're going to understand how to become a full stack developer. The easy way, the money way, the free way. You did. All right. You already know it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingface.com. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like this video. And like I said, make sure you give this thing a star. If you got to give it, give it a star. Let's get this thing trending. Let's make the industry talk about it. Because you know what? We in here. I'm doing this just for you guys. All right, guys? Take care. Yeah.